Hello, this is just a quick little video to show you guys what Discord is like um, and the way I use it for iRacing, sim racing, period. All right, so it's if it was already loaded up, just go load it and actually download the app. Don't just use the web browser. I think there's sound mic issues when you're on the browser and you go away from the browser. Uh, also download the app if you want to get the notifications, which are really cool because you can turn on and off however you want to receive them. Um, for example, most of the time I have them only turned on when I'm mentioned or everybody's mentioned, so I'm not getting my phone filled up with stuff all day. Um, I'm not much of a streamer, so I don't do that stuff. But this is basically what the window looks like. Um, over on the left here, these are all the different Discord channels that I'm in. Um, so basically, this is one that I'm actually playing around with for my business. Um, but um, the Lotus 49 one that Ben created, there's really not much going on in here yet, but it shows who, who it has joined. Um, this is who's on. This is who's not online right now. Um, there's little color symbols. So in the green, it means they're sort of like actively on and doing something. They've, they've done something recently. Um, the orange is kind of idle, and then it can show up red as well, which will mean that they've kind of made, they've chosen to, to not be able to be interrupted, something like that. I've never done the red, so I don't know. Um, in here, this is what's been set up for the Lotus so far, and then this is sort of, the middle is kind of where the chatting and texting goes on. Um, in each channel. This one has a, a general voice channel, a racing channel. I'm not sure what the DND is. Um, so I'm also on a Camel GT Endurance one. This is um, special events that get set up like week 13. Um, there's, a, there's a bunch of members on here. Um, a lot of guys aren't online right now, but some are. This one has different categories. I mean, you can make these kind of categories, whatever, however the administrator of, of each channel wants. Um, this one has different, like, race information, you know, for what's coming up, you know, qualifying different practice sessions and the announcements that are made and entry lists, who's entered this so far. People put up um, links. Phil's put up a link to the entry list, and you can click on it. Um, there's different text channels like uh, people that signed up, whatnot, and then just this one has an overall one voice channel. Um, VCR is kind of like the really active one that Camel uses. Um, it's got tons of members that are on here. This, honestly, there's probably 200 or more posts a day in here, guys just talking about whatever they want. Um, one of the cool things about posting in here is it's a lot easier than iRacing. You don't have to, you know, enter any special codes or anything in the thing. I mean, you want to put a picture, you just stick the link. You want to, you know, you put anything here and Discord just recognizes it and makes it what it should be. Um, if you put a link to a website, it usually gives you a little preview or something like that. Um, there's all kinds of little emojis you can use when you type something out. Um, you can click this to add, you know, a picture in, a file in. You know, it just opens up your thing, and you just can add whatever you want set up, just anything. Um, or you can kind of drag pictures in or whatever in here, too. Um, same thing, emojis. I think this is all Twitter-based emojis. There's tons of them. People are using those. Some guys even make the custom ones. There's a, I know there's a Nissan and there's an Audi. That someone made that you can put in. You can probably barely see this. There's an Audi. Um, the channel over here, we, we have this stuff with the schedules, our standings. Um, there's another, I think this is for the Friday race, the World Series standings. Um, series information, different paint files people put up. I don't know, every one of these, sometimes people are sharing logos, things like that. 
Um, all the broadcasts get posted in here. People post their driver onboard videos here. Different types of media files get posted by people, and they discuss it. Um, the GRC guy, um, guys are pretty active in Discord, and they're on your own channel in theirs. Different track guides that people will put up. Um, those are in kind of these are more admin things. Then they have the different text channels, signups. The general channel is the main one. The people are talking about other things like real world racing. People will post a lot of different screenshots. Um, when after races usually, and lately I've been talking about a lot of old vintage video games. Um, people are paying different paint requests moment this is kind of an adults only channel I'm not sure if i should show anyone that one and they even talk about other stuff like music and this one we have like just a couple voice channels general general two you know people can be on either one at the same time there's different archives um camo america past broadcasts the road america 500 um uh, next one is maybe back in here quickly like it, it's really easy to use this stuff when you're when you're in this channel you click in it it automatically connects you and it's basically um, voip uh, you know really good quality of sound i have mine set not push to talk but most people sh probably should use push to talk um you can uh right click this thing you can mute yourself, deafen yourself. Um, if there was someone else in here, you could do the same to that person. Um, I'll do this a lot when I step away from the computer. I'll mute myself or if I'm getting a phone call or whatever happens. Um, but I will get out of there and just disconnect. You can actually deafen and mute yourself at the bottom here too. And then overall and on all of the stuff, you can go into settings. In the settings here, there's a lot of different things that you can do. Um, this is setting up your input and output devices with your mics and kind of all standard stuff, what volume you want to hear things through and, and what you're pushing your mic out, kind of like how sensitive the mic is and when it'll come on. It's shown here, and this is adjustable. This is where you set push to talk. There, um, I didn't mess with this. This is, I don't even know, something with, for streaming. There's a bunch of other stuff in here. I don't really mess around with this stuff much. There's different overlays. I'm, I'm not using this at all. Notifications is, um, I have it turned off, but you can control your notifications however you want. You can also go into um, selected channels and do that. I'll show you that in a second. There's different key binds, game activity, and this thing you can show if you want to show the status of what you're currently doing. So if you were playing iRacing, you can actually call it whatever you want. And then um, it'll show up next to your name. I'll show you where that is first. All right, so like up over here near people's names, it'll so say what they're doing if they want them to show it. So, you know, playing black box is what Riley's doing. Stefan's listening to Spotify. Um, it's kind of good, though, because when I'm looking at this and I'm seeing some of the guys that are in practice, I'll actually see that somebody is in iRacing, you know, doing something. Then I kind of know to maybe go look or or maybe even want to send them a message or, or whatever. But I can tell if they're on or not and what's going on. Um, the other thing I was saying with the, the notifications, you click up here. And you then will click on the notification settings from in here. And on this particular channel, you can say how you want to receive a notification. I use this mostly for my phone. I don't get any notifications really on the computer so much. Um, it might chime or something like that if I'm um, mentioned. But So that's how I set mine um on pretty much all of them just if i was mentioned or an everybody is mentioned kind of scenario which you actually just do if like you want to point someone out and you're down here you just hit the you know the at symbol oops 
at. You can start typing the name out and it'll narrow it down, but basically it'll let you pick somebody. You can also, you know, if you saw someone's name over here, you can take this thing and then just hit mention and it'll bring it down in here. You can also adjust people's volume. So when they're in a voice chat, the same menu will come up when you click on them when they're in here. And if someone's, uh, some people's mics are set different, so they might sound really loud or someone might sound really quiet. You can adjust how you hear them. So almost everybody's sort of the same. They have different profiles. You can actually make phone calls and stuff with people. Um, so where are we at? The, so this is, that was the VCR one. That's our main one. The uh, VRS has theirs too. And people in VRS, you know, ask questions, talk about stuff. I'm a member of VRS, so I'm in here. Um, this one is the major series. So uh, this is basically the same thing with them. Um, that they have their setup however they want how they do stuff. I've entered a few major races and so I became part of this one. I don't follow this one a ton though. Then uh, Dirty Torque is the endurance team that I'm part of. It actually started out as the Camel GT endurance, which a bunch of camel drivers. Some of the guys didn't really do many of the races and this is sort of an offshoot. It's still all camel drivers. Um, I'll click on that one now. Wait, wait, this one's kind of like an endurance team setup, which is really cool. Um, we do almost all of our voice chatting um, during the race through Discord, um, which is just seems way easier for most of us. Um, and here we have, you know, the different liveries, you know, different times that they've been made. Um, they look different. They've been gradually changing over time. Different images will come in here. And we have setups you know for different cars that we've run in different endurance races and then we have voice channels sometimes we'll have two teams running a race so we we have one setup for one team one setup for the other um, generally we use this one when we're not in a race and it's we just all kind of join into this channel and are chatting with each other while we're on track practicing or something like that and even in some non-serious races um we got past events that we've been in that, Usually we'll, when we're close to an endurance event, we're discussing stuff in here. Um, and just, you know, we've all sort of just become friends. So we, we do spend a decent amount of time just talking about random things in the general thread. The, I actually, I don't really follow this one, but when Project Cars 2 first came out, I joined this channel. I don't even do it anymore. I'll probably delete it soon. This is a global sim racing channel. This one's good to be part of because this is where you have to log on to do the interviews after the race. So if you want to ever do an interview, you know, you get on here after the race is done. You basically click on the ready for interview area. It puts you in with other guys that are ready for interview. And then when they pick you to come on, it just automatically moves you down into the live booth and you get interviewed. And that's basically where this happens. But yes, RC, um, you know, they make announcements. They talk about the different races that are coming up on here um well, this was the first endurance team that i joined for special events i'm still friends with these guys and uh they're also other camel drivers so uh, i still do some stuff on here these guys even play other games too uh, this was that original one this one used to be our most active one but now it's um, not very active at all, but it's still the original kind of group of guys that started this channel. What else is there to show? Well, I don't really think too much. Oh, um, if you're in, this is like a private messaging area. So if you go in here, these are just people that you've had messages with before. Um, you know, you've had different conversations with guys about different stuff. Um, I don't know. You might be, might, you might just privately be sharing information with them and you don't want to clog up the other thread when you guys are maybe chatting about something. I mean, I, I don't know exactly. Just whatever it has to be. 
um, in here as well. Like if you're talking to a certain guy messaging, um, you can basically make a call. Phil's not online right now, so he wouldn't receive it. But when you when you make a phone call, it brings up both of you. You can actually do this thing called turn on screen share, and it'll share your your screen. So there's been a decent amount of times where we've logged on to um, VRS. Basically, this is the way that VRS does their training. Um, and when you get a one-on-one -on -one lesson, they'll he'll open up his screen and he'll have VRS open on his screen, and then you guys will review your the lap. You'll also probably have a um, a video of what's going on. Um, I'll leave that. And then that actually is a pretty cool feature. Um, I, I've had actually training with uh, Juan Lopez in the Audi. When I first started driving the Audi, I figured I'd try out some one-on-one -on -one sessions with him. And that's essentially basically how all of our training went. We don't have a data pack or anything for the Audi, so... Um, it was kind of a unique, they created it for me coaching thing. Um, all right, well, that's pretty much it. I hope this helps anybody that kind of wants to know a little bit about Discord. And that's kind of how I use it for iRacing. All right, bye-bye.